Cross it! Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, we're going to talk about the ventricular system or the set of communicating chambers that are inside the, the brain here and down into the brain stem and the spinal cord. So these structures, why are they here? Uh, they produce, transport, monitor, and remove cerebral spinal fluid. So we'll talk about why CSF or cerebral spinal fluid is important in just a moment. This fluid also bathes the brain and the rest of your central nervous system. Let's look at the parts here first. So you see there are two lateral ventricles. You can only see the right lateral ventricle on this image because the brain's in half there, but each, each cerebral hemisphere has one of the two lateral ventricles. Then we have the ventricle in the diencephalon there is called the third ventricle. And notice between, they communicate with each other, the two lateral ventricles drain through the interventricular foramen, also known as the foramen of Monroe, Monroe to get into the third ventricle. And then between the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle, we have the cerebral aqueduct. So that's going to carry the fluid from the third to the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle is going to be down there. It's going to extend all the way to the medulla oblongata, where it becomes continuous with the central canal, which hopefully you remember is that little canal that runs in the center of the spinal cord. So those are, those are all the pieces, the two lateral ventricles up in the cerebrum, the third ventricle in the diencephalon, and the fourth ventricle running all the way down to the bottom of the brainstem to the central canal. So why? Why do we need this cerebral spinal fluid? Why do we need these cavities? It cushions the brain and other delicate neural structures. It actually helps support the brain there at the bottom. So the, the brain is being bathed in this fluid and supported. So support and protection and cushioning. And then also it transports nu nutrients, removes waste products, and transports chemical messengers as well. So very important. So where does those, we talked about the chambers, where does the fluid come from? That's going to be that choroid plexus right there in the middle. So we already covered this when we talked about the neuroglia. The ependymal cells are a, are a neurological support cell that produce and help transport and monitor and remove cerebral spinal fluid. The choroid plexus is a combination of these ependymal cells and capillaries. So right there in the middle, that's going to be where the CSF is being produced. And then it's going, to, it's going to flow through, it's going to be moved and monitored and filtered, and then once once we've used it up, it's going to be removed. So we produce about 500 milliliters of cerebral spinal fluid a day, which is enough to completely um, replace this fluid about every eight hours. So about, about three times a day, all this fluid is being replaced and with, with new fluid, and that's what helps keep it clean and sterile. All right, so that's the ventricular system and the cerebral spinal fluid that is produced inside of it and runs through it. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.